Nuvertanen. It's going to take us on a tour of the CLB 88, the CL Yachts. Okay, let's go take a look. And this is all brand new, brand new boat. Brand new boat just came off the ship. Okay, let's step aboard. And I'll let you lead the way. What do you think we should take a look at first? All right, let's go upstairs. We have 22 six beam on the boat, so it's very spacious. Half deck, wet bar, refrigeration. And a grill? Grill is on the flat bridge. Okay. I see they utilize their signature orange throughout. Yes. You see the orange has an accent color here and there. We have day head back here. Conveniently located. The window there. Yeah, it's an uh, open layout, so you can see all the way to the bottom mm -hmm. from back here. And both actually feels very spacious, actually much bigger than ADA because of the wide beam. So galley is open, but it can be closed for service or chartering. The glass partition closes and the door closes. Mm -hmm. Let me show you here. I like that automatic. And also, we have an automatic door that closes sure. here if needed. Kelly has a lot of nice features, including the large pantry. Big sub zero. We also have sub zero drawers here. Very functional galley. And what is the top speed? Top speed is 25 knots and cruising speed 21 to 22 with Caterpillar C32A serves at 1600 horsepower. Very efficient and fast haul. And we have access outside right here. We have a panther traffic door for easy access so crew doesn't have to walk through the salon if there's guests. They have an access to this area from, from a very wide side, side walkways. We have a split floor plan. Uh, there's entrance to two forward state rooms. And on midship we have entrance to master and VIP. If you realize you don't have to climb on the bed, it's mm. very comfortable level. Very spacious oh, wow. bathroom. Very. This is the this lights. Yes. Okay. Wow, this is large. It is very spacious. This boat competes with much bigger boats than 88 footers. And the company is, I know it has like over a hundred year history, correct? Yes, yeah, since 1870. 
We are based in Hong Kong. Oh, Hong Kong. The yard is uh, about 45 miles from Hong Kong in Daoman, China. Another state room with end suite bathroom. I remember last year when I was giving a tour, they were talking about how the um, all the stone is finished, like laser cut on all the curves. Correct. I remember that. Uh, we, we use a lot of natural stone in this spot, and, and, and what we do in-house, we cut it very thin, and then we honeycomb pack it or foam core pack it based on application. It gives tremendous weight savings for the boat, and that all reflects to your fuel consumption at the end of the day. It's very difficult to do, but we do it in-house, and it benefits the customer's uh, overall, overall cost of running a boat for years to come. And okay. a washer and dryer. One right here and one in the crew. Okay. Electronics, all the latest system, all garment system, C zone monitoring system. This particular boat has gyro stabilizer for at rest and slow speeds, and we also have fin stabilizers for stabilizing on the higher speeds. Okay, I'll take a look below. Walk-in closet. Cedar line. The closets are cedar line. Yeah. Is there something beyond that mirror? It looks like a door. Yes, behind the door is an escape hatch. Huh. In our boats, there's always two ways to get out from every space oh, in excellent. case of emergency. styles of natural stone. The stone in the wall is the same stone that is used in uh, Sultan of Istanbul's Hammam in Turkey. Same stone. The gray stone? The gray the colored one? Yeah, the gray stone. And then over here we have another storage area. Get the safe. And then if you look at underneath the birds, there's always storage space. Ever we mm -hmm. find a space to put storage space to allow that to our customers. Okay. It's a big screen. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna go to this room real fast here. That's the VIP that is almost equal in size compared to master. So huh. it's a perfect layout for chartering if the first or second owner wants to. Uh, oh yeah, that's an interesting. That in. Sure. Okay, and we're heading back up. few pizzas in the salon I would like to point out. Okay. The salon, we have a wine cooler. 
noise maker, refrigerator, and a hidden wet bar. We have a fold down TV, so TV is not visible unless you need it, so it folds down. What size screen is that? Looks nice and big. I believe it's 55. Again, a lot of storage wherever they can. With storage, we have a quite a yeah. storage back there. The flooring is natural teak that is sealed teak and holly. And if you look at the ceiling of the salon, we have the same material, natural teak. But the design concept is to bring the outside in to this magnificent vessel. I like this how smooth it is. You don't feel any. It feels good. That seems. And not slippery. Not but there was, so there were some boats yeah. that were yeah. actually. Yeah. There was one boat I went in. And I kind of. Yeah. I was trying to close the door, and my feet were moving instead of the door. And the uh, walls are walnut. Oh, my Which are finished, not the usual way using warnings, but we have a wrap with natural oils and give that nice satin finish. That feels good. Yeah. And again, water storage everywhere you can see. Okay, so this is put like dishes and so forth. Yeah, and so they have as racks for all the DCs and plates and glass, including all the drawers in the gallery. And every place there's a room, we have storage yeah. because there's never enough storage on the clinic floor. Are these the AC vents in here? Yeah, those uh, like built-in AC outlets. I like that. I like the way it's styled with the uh, lighting. Yeah, everything is well thought. This is uh, Milan-based Farakis design team. And we have a lot of nice little details on everywhere you look. And now, folks, when you remove the decorative panels or decorative flooring, it's not plywood. It's it's fiberglass everywhere. There's actually no wood in construction at all. So now that's more fire resistant, right? Not only that, but it's it's the uh, strength of the hull is totally different than hmm. marrying several different uh, uh, materials together. Like some of the builders have uh, plywood, uh, marine plywood. So you mean some of these other ones I'm seeing are plywood underneath? So, some of the so builders you? have marine plywood supported with aluminum beams connected to fiberglass hull. We do not, none of that. So all the bulkheads, all the walls, all the soaps, everything's uh, plastic. Huh. And then the stabilization system use is that what what is which we what have is that? Gyro stabilizer for at rest and slow speeds, and we also have fin stabilizers on this boat. So we have vector fins. Okay. So it's uh, full stabilization the whole spectrum of the speed curve. Cool. So our clients are always comfortable at any speed and at anchor as well. The tankets of the boat, all tanks are integral part class tanks, part of the part of the hull construction. It's a difficult, expensive way to build the tankets on the boat, but that's the only way we know how to do it. It's far easier to uh, drop off the aluminum tanks like the competition does, but we, we, we don't do that. Always integral part class tanks. Always at the lowest part of the hull for two reasons, for the center of gravity and also in critical situations your tank is act as a double bottom. So here's a little lever. Okay, so you get a little natural light down there. Yeah. So you see 
see some carbon fiber accent in several places like on the compass post and some of the handrails in the boat as well as the uh, car support. It is to demonstrate that we use carbon fiber in the whole construction when it very strategically benefits the construction. Very spacious wide range. Yeah. Hope we have it raining again. Do I just demo that real fast? I have not done it yet, so. Oh, yeah, right. Cool. First time. <laughs> the boats are skating. Yeah. I like that feature. I always think that's yeah, really smart. It is really nice. Yeah, you're cruising, you sit that way, then you're going to have something to eat, you can put it the other way. I like that. Alright. Up here, we of course have an ice maker and refrigerator. Oh, I need to cover that. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Wow. My shoes are going to be soaking wet, I know it. That's <laughs> not there. So we're here right now, stuck with this uh, big rainstorm, and I've got a bee that just, I can't show you because it's on the camera. There's a bee that's just sticking right here, flew right onto the stabilizer and camera, and it's just hanging out. Let me show what's going on around here. I'm going to spin fast with my temporary cover. Oh, that's good. The boat came in 9.30 Saturday morning from a freighter. Our moving time is for 10.30, so we barely made it. So we haven't had a chance to even do the covers yet. But now if you didn't cover that, that would be okay if it got wet though, right? I mean, it's designed for it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Now, okay, since we're dealing with the rain now, like, okay, tell me, like, normally, what would we have fitted here? We would be able to have something go down here, like an awning? On the side, or could that be uh, stuck on? You can always add the icing glass and closer if you want to. So now I have a crew member with me. He's still there. I huh? don't want to leave. He can climb and just grab the on. Oh, there he went.
but be sure to let me know you enjoyed this video by giving it a like and if you haven't done so already make sure to subscribe and ring that notification bell so you're kept up to date on all future uploads on this channel i'll see you soon Thank <laughs> you.